Good morning, friends. So it's been almost a year since I shot a vlog. I've been thinking of getting back into it because I really want to make more videos and the uh, project videos just take really, really, really long to make and I don't have time to do that right now. So this is what we're doing today. Uh, I started my day by spending too much time adjusting the tripod. So as you might have saw earlier, my eggs kind of got stuck to the pan, but uh, whatever. And yeah, I'm just going to be working from home today. Uh, after I eat breakfast, I need to get a haircut. So that's why I picked today to vlog because at least I get to start the day outside, right? So yeah, should be a busy day. So as I mentioned last week, I am preparing for machine learning interviews right now. I started doing this last week, and from what I found online, there's like two parts I need to prepare for. There's the lead coding part, and then there's the machine learning part. And then obviously probably some behavioral stuff, uh, some stuff about your past projects, but that should be okay. So I'm rusty with lead code, but that's fine. Like everyone knows how to prepare for it. The problem is, there's just not much information on what kind of machine learning questions that these big tech companies ask. I've been looking through some questions that people are posting online and it's just so much random stuff that I feel like I could spend months and months just studying it and I still wouldn't know it all. So my plan that I came up with a few days ago is I'm just going to start applying to ML engineer positions right now. And I'm going to use that experience first to motivate myself to study more effectively, stay focused, uh, you know, find important material to study. Uh, and also just use that as a learning experience so that I get better and better as I go. So last Friday, I started applying to two companies, uh, ML Engineer at TikTok and ML Engineer at Twitter. And my first interview is with TikTok next week. So I'm preparing for that right now. You definitely don't want to take my advice for what I'm doing because I'm totally new to this. I am not really that picky about what kind of company I get into. I just want to try ML engineering because I haven't done it before and I'm also getting a little bit bored staying here up in Canada. Uh, I want to go somewhere, I don't know, just somewhere exciting. It doesn't really matter that much. Company doesn't really matter that much. I just want to be good company, uh, interesting ML engineering work and new and exciting city. So. I'm going to get to work now and uh, yeah, talk to you in a few hours. So I've been studying for about four hours now. I split my time between doing lead code questions and trying to find good resources on recommender systems since the company is TikTok. I was trying to answer some general machine learning interview questions that I found online, but it was just it seemed very specific and I didn't know how to answer them. So I think given that I only have five days left to prepare, uh, it's probably not the best use of my time. Right now, I'm actually gonna take a short break because I have a call with a sponsor. So that should be in a few minutes. Uh, I bought this new headset with a mic here. So I think, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll seem more professional now. But yeah, I'm gonna do that and then get back to studying. A bunch of people think I'm Korean. What's that? A bunch of people think I'm Korean. Really? Yes. 
I think it's because like they're not familiar with like K-W-A-N. Yeah. Oh really? I thought, no, like Koreans are not do K-W-O-N usually. Yeah, exactly. Like they think it's that name. Uh, I think. You don't look very Korean to me. Though. Yes, I don't. Like I, I, I don't look Korean at all. So I'm eating dinner at 5.30 because I skipped lunch, uh, which I do a lot because I'm just sitting down most of the day. And after this, I have to finish that lead coding question. I found that question because somebody said they were asked during uh, the TikTok interview. And even though I wasn't able to solve it, I think, my solution sort of makes sense. So if I want to save time, I think the best thing to do is to just go through lots of different questions, uh, come up with answers that seem sort of reasonable and then check the solution because it just takes a really long time to get a perfect solution to these hard questions and I definitely don't have that much time. I studied for a couple more hours, started editing this vlog, and then went to play tennis with my friend. Now it's past midnight and I usually sleep at this time, but since my interview is in the middle of the night because of the time zone differences, I'm gonna start adjusting my schedule so that I'll be alert during the interview. So my plan is to edit for about another hour and then this vlog should be done and I can upload it tomorrow morning. I always find it really awkward when I vlog because I think my life is not that interesting and I'm already really awkward so who's gonna wanna watch this? But the way I think about it now, if it motivates me to try a little bit harder and do something more with my day, then I think it's worth it. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.